Hello everybody, uh, I'm Todd McCluskey, I'm an acupuncturist in Washington DC, and I just saw, shot a 36 minute video on Triple Energizer 3. And I realized, damn, that's a long video. I'm gonna put that up on my YouTube channel, but I'm gonna try to take what I said in that video and just cut it down really, really, really concisely and short to put it out to you. And if you wanna look at that video, uh, the longer discussion on Triple Energizer 3, both as the point and also as a channel from Triple Energizer's perspective, please do. Um, real briefly, right now, we're in the midst of the corona outbreak. It is March 26th. I think it's a Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it's a Wednesday. And my wife and I, our practices closed down um, last week, at the beginning of last week. So we did all our stocking up, all that, and now it's time to kind of settle into a new routine now that we're going to basically be home all day. And so part of that routine is to put out nice videos for people to look at because I think this is a wonderful way to be able to share our knowledge back and forth. And today I want to share my knowledge about Triple Energizer 3. Why Triple Energizer 3? Well, because I can get it to do something very, very interesting. And why do I feel like I want to share some of this? Because I want to open up dialogues with other acupuncturists about particularly their use of points, but also specifically, how do you needle points? Because I have found in my practice, how you needle an acupuncture point is so valuable. It's extremely valuable because how you needle it, the depth you needle it, the techniques that you use can mean all the world of difference. So um, if you want to know more of the history of Triple Energy 3, how I use it, blah, 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 you can go to that other video. Real briefly, I use Triple Energy 3 specifically for dry, sore throats, dry, sore throats. Why dry, sore throats? Because I found it works damn well for dry, sore throats. Does it work for wet, damn throats that are sore? Yeah, yeah, it does, it does, it does, it does. But it works really well. It's like a shining beacon of light when you're using it on dry, sore throats. That's first part. Second part, is when you needle this point successfully, which I'll talk about in just a second, what you want is you want your patients to experience two things. One, they should start to salivate. They'll actually produce moisture. They'll start to salivate in their mouth when you needle this point right, which is also another interesting thing. And that's one of the reasons why I wanna share it because it's just sort of an interesting thing I stumbled upon. No one ever told me this. No one said, hey, Todd, if you wanna make a patient salivate because they have a dry, sore throat, use triple energy as a three. I just sort of stumbled upon it investigated, explored it, this is what I found. So, one, it creates saliva, makes them salivate. Two, clears their sore throat like a champ. Do I use it on one side or the other? I usually use start with the, the left side because that's just where I like to sit on the left side of the table. I have my nice stool and I like to sit on my nice stool more than the other side, so I usually sit on that side. Um, if they had a sore throat that was unilateral, I would needle that side of the sore throat. Most people don't. Sometimes they do. Uh, I shouldn't say most people don't. Most people don't recognize it. Some people do. Um, and do I do one or both? It depends. If I get it all done with one, I stop with one. Do I use both? Well, if I don't finish it with one, I finish it with the other. And that happens like nine times out of ten. And then lastly, do I leave the needle in? No. With this thing, when you get it, it's done. Leaving the needle in won't help the sore throat more. It, um, when you get the job done, it's done. And it's sort of a delicate area, so take the needle out. I mean, you can leave it in if that's your thing. Go for it. Now, how do I actually needle this point? Well, the, um, the depth, so first of all, the location is basically what you find in the book. There's no real trick to the location of it. You're just taking that, I think it's the fourth meta uh, tars or uh, carpal, and you're gonna look at the proximal head, uh, or the, the proximal to the distal head, uh, the fourth meta um, carpal, and it's gonna be tucked in there. Now, again, look at the other video. Acupuncture points have widths. They have actual existence in life. There are things in the body to a certain degree, and or at least there are regions in the body. They're not just sort of like these tiny little things that are just little buttons that exist their actual substance in many cases. I have not explored the full size of this point. I just continue to tuck it in here because I want to get very accurate because it's sort of a tender point. Or, well, it's a tender place. It's a very delicate place. And I like to go at that with a little more delicacy 
than I do other points. So I kind of tuck it in there. You want to get close to the bone. You don't need to scrape the bone. You're not going to get the point if you scrape the bone. You're not going to do anything if you, do, if you scrape the bone. You're just not going to get the point. Tuck it in. How deep do you go? Um, on measuring, because I've measured it, insert a needle, get it, get the point, get the effect, everything's working. I'll take another needle, I flip it over, and I'll measure the differences. And it looks like it's about 10 to 15 millimeters. You want to do about 10 to 15 millimeters, so I'd, I'd recommend using a 30 millimeter length needle. Any needle, and you're going to be a third to halfway in, something like that. But you're not measuring it as your success by, by the depth. You kneel and you go through until you reach that first thickness. You'll hit this thickness in there, and that's when you know you've got it. If you go, 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 and you're like you're burying the hilt into the person and you haven't reached the thickness, you've missed. You gotta back up, re-aim, get that thickness. Once you hit that thickness, 10 to 15 millimeters, what do you do then? Engage. Some acupuncture points really need to have specific techniques applied to them to have specific things happen. And that's based on the, the point, it's based on the individual and all that sort of stuff. For triple energizer three, I found that that's not really the case in terms of needle technique. You gotta get depth, you gotta get it, but whether you just sort of lean on that point, that thickness, just ride that needle, or whether you go in, you grasp the chi and you pull, or you go in, Grasp the chi and doom, 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 kind of lay into it with a nice rhythm. Doesn't seem to matter. One of those three is going to get you the effect that you're looking for. And what's the effect? The person salivates. Oh, my, my throat is moist. And their sore throat goes away. So, patient comes in. Oh yeah, I've, I've had this crazy um, cough, a real sore throat. You ask them, well, <clears throat> have you been to any foreign countries lately? Bad joke. <laughs> yeah, you ask them, okay, is it a wet or, or is it wet and phlegmy or is it dry? And they go, oh no, no, it's really dry. Ding, ding, ding. This is the point. Give it a shot in your practice. Pop them down. Go, okay, I got something for you. Triple energizer three. Boom, needle, go, 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 go. Oh, you hit the thickness. Ooh, good. Ride it, ride it, ride it. How long do you ride it? I don't know, five seconds, 10 seconds. This stuff really happens fast. And then you ask the patient, do you notice that you're salivating more? Yeah. Then, what do you ask them? You tell them to swallow a couple times and see if you still have a sore throat. The swallowing will, will allow, it's like the needling is opening up the chi, opening up the chi, but it's still sort of like stuck chi that's now open, open, open. They swallow and it washes it. It moves that stuck chi and it allows the fluid to, to circulate in the throat. <clears throat> they swallow a couple times and then you might say, you know, is your throat still sore? And they'll say, no. Magically, no. Or they'll say, oh, it's a lot better. I get that a lot. Oh, it's a lot better. Then I say, is it all better? And they go, well, no, it's not all better. And I kind of quantize it a little bit. And if it doesn't meet my standard, which for something like this is typically like 90%, I want it to be all better or almost all better. I go to the other side and needle the other point. I, because of the delicate nature of this area of the body, I just don't want to ride it and ride it and ride it and ride it. I will ride other points for five or ten minutes, but just not this guy. I just go to the other side, needle it, boom, get it, case closed. So, triple energizer three, you will use it however you use it in your practice, but I'm going to offer another way to use it, which is for dry, sore throats. It works like a champ. Um, needle it. 10, 15 millimeters, hit that thickness, then engage however you want to engage with it. Hold that engagement, five, 10 seconds, dialogue with your patient, make sure that they're having that experience of increased salivation, and of course, the results are happening. Their sore throat is gone, or much better. 
if you need to do both sides, do both sides. If you want to do one side versus the other and you have a, a theory of that, or that's the side of the symptomology, maybe you want to do needle the side opposite of symptomology. Just do however you want to do it, whatever works for you. Um, that's Triple Energizer 3 more as a point and an additional use that you might find in your practice. What I'm going to do is actually just kind of pull back a little bit and also say that you can utilize this point or the channel to affect the ear as well. And so there have been cases in my practice where I will use this one point, one needle, one insertion to have multiple effects. Where say I have a patient that comes in and they're, they're, they've had this cold and they have a dry sore throat and their ear hurts. They have this crazy earache, dry sore throat, it's bad. And I'll come over and that, in that case, I'll pick this side, the ear that I want to affect. So if it's the right side, I'll be on the right side, left side, left side. And so for the first thing that I'll do is I'll, I'll go down 10, 15 millimeters, get that chi, work that point, clear the sore throat out, get the saliva to move. I, I'm producing saliva, so I'm, I'm beginning to get things kind of like um, lubricated in there. It's like, ah, things are getting lubricated. You can also consider using this point when you want to generate fluid to help move phlegm. I've done that before for like, it, you got to really work it like a madman to get it to really uh, produce fluid in the sinuses or kind of lubricate the sinuses. And I have been able to get that to happen all the time. But if you need to really, if you have some real recalcitrant phlegm in the throat, you can, you can also use this to produce fluids to move that. But anyway, um, kind of sidetrack. I want to keep this video concise. So needle down 10, 15 millimeters, hit that clear their sore throat, but now they also have an earache. Pull the needle up until you get very close to the top. Now you're going to a heaven layer, and in that heaven layer, you can engage, and boom, suddenly you're riding the channel. You're not working the point, and you're riding this channel. It's not like they're really exactly two different things, but in some cases, they appear to be like two different things, like the point is the point, the channel is the channel. It's not like that as far as I understand, maybe it is like that. But in some cases, it seems like that. And as you come up and you hit that more heaven layer, you can run to the end of the channel very quickly. This is true for channels all over the body, um, where if you work that heaven layer, it's easy to, to skip the whole channel and get to the end of it really quick. Um, and so if you work Triple Energizer 3, superficially then it will go up the channel and around the ear. So earache, ear congestion, ringing in the ears, pain, all of that, you can begin to improve. You drain that chi that's stuck up there out that way. Now, you don't need to use Triple Energizer 3. I will typically, if I'm working that channel and get into the ear, I'll typically nowadays use Triple Energizer 9 just because it's a much meatier area of the body. You know, but sometimes it's cool and sometimes it's just sort of more efficient or sometimes it's better. And sometimes just as a practitioner, you want to practice your skills as well while you're treating. It's good to use one acupuncture point and try to get two very different effects with that one point, that one needle. Kind of push yourself a little bit. It's fun. All right. So triple energizer three. This is like a basically kind of a case study in a way of, of one function of triple energizer three. You don't find that function in, in, in Deadman's right here. Um, it's just something I stumbled upon, uh, luckily. It's a beautiful point. It's a signature point. Let's just say it like that. It's a signature point for dry sore throats. Needle that point by tucking it towards the bone, going down 10, 15 millimeters, Grasp the chi at that first thickness you really feel. Work it, work it, work it. It'll create more saliva fluids in the throat. It'll move the chi of the throat and cool the throat. Beautiful point for that. If you want to transverse, traverse the whole channel, then you want to be more superficial. You want to be at that head and layer, whether you pull the needle up or maybe you just want to use this to get to the ear and you just needle or maybe you're a triple energizer nine and you just go boop. Sink down, hit that first little membrane, right through the skin, first little membrane, work that. <sighs> Goes right to the ear. All right, well, the point of these videos is to stir up a little conversation. I'd love to hear how you use Triple Energizer 3, how you use a Triple Energizer channel in your practice. 
Uh, this is a truncated video. The other one was 36 minutes. I'll post them both. Why not on my YouTube page? But then I'll post this short one out on my acupuncture page and then on like uh, acupuncture's Facebook and the lunchies and stuff like that. Just to stir up some conversation, have some fun while we are on the pandemic quarantine. Anyway, I hope you're safe. I hope your family's safe. I hope everyone is healthy. And I hope we get through this um, with as little, little damage as possible. All right. Have a good time, guys.